salute, salute, salute. All my generals, all my lines, all my real men. Y'all already know what it is. Lines and men on deck. Out here on this beautiful, beautiful morning. Know what I mean? Chilling, macking as I always do. About to chop it up with y'all real quick. Put you on to some real fly shit that took place when I was in the beacon. Now, the beacon, call it the bloody beacon, oh boy. Well, not old boy. Old boy is OBCC, North Facility. That's slash box. The beacon was the bloody beacon. Bloods was all over that bitch. I was there for a minute. Um, I was actually there till I blew trial. Facts. So, this is about these blood niggas, right? Scheming, getting grimy. This nigga Razor, a couple of other dogs. This nigga Berry. Um... Who else was there? This nigga Machiavelli. It's a whole story with that Machiavelli nigga too. Niggas don't want to be talking about nigga Machiavelli. Um, who else? Razor, I already said. Berry, that was basically Berry's house. So dudes get packed up because of main breaks in, in, in our block, in four block. They flooded it out. So we got to get packed up, move somewhere. They sent us to a gym. Dudes is looking at this shit as an opportunity to make a move when we get to the next house to start claiming phones, right? Thinking like the niggas that wasn't holding weight, holding claiming phones for slot time, wasn't gonna keep that same energy. So, like, niggas was like feeling. Plus, at the time, I was the only king there. Now, I, initially, it was three of us. It was me, not um, Macho and Trouble. But once they broke out, I mean, it was just me and my co-defendant. I mean, shout out to the nigga Eddie. Or oh, shout out to the nigga um, Casanova. Casanova was there. Shout out to Casanova. Shout out to Eggie. Um, there'll be a couple other niggas that pop up into my head. So, you had these niggas there. You had these blood niggas there. Razor, Barry, um, Joker. Grimy ass nigga. These niggas was grimy. But check it out. So, we get to the other block. My man, niggas is starting to try to get situated. Niggas get in there automatically. Niggas is like, yo, listen, that's my phone. This is my phone, my slot. Every, ain't nothing changed type shit. So, basically, we just like, I mean, ain't nothing changed. We going we to keep it the same way it was when we was in, in four block. Now, I think they moved to one block. So, I'm like, all right. I could dig it. So, everything is cool. These niggas is scheming on this Jamaican nigga, right? It was this Jamaican nigga. He was lying, right? His name was Bishop. And there was this other, there was another Jamaican nigga there that was rocking with these niggas. This nigga name was, um, I forgot his name. I know Bishop and Gaza, Gazi, some crazy shit with a G. Anyway, so... The nigga Razor, I guess, felt that it was safer. You know what I mean? Because what I heard was after the fact was that he was asking about me too. He was like, yo, what's up with this nigga? What's up with this nigga? And my slot sound basically. And basically the nigga Barry there was there. Or my nigga Ja, 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 Lil Ja was there too. The homie Ja. Like... They knew me, they kind of knew my energy, they rock with me, so they kind of was like, nah, don't fuck with you, not, not true little, true little, true little, real one, you know what I mean, I wouldn't advise that, you know what I mean, like, he got money, so, but he did initially, was scheming on my slot time, and my phone, I was on the, um, I was on the neutral phone, it was only, it was only, Two phones, I think it was only two phones. I forget if it was two or three. But anyway, I was on a neutral phone. There was no king phone there. But when we was kings, it was on one phone. We had slot on that phone. You feel me? But fuck is I'm the only king there. The fuck I'm like me. Take a whole phone. I'm, <laughs> I wasn't on that type of time, you know. I just made sure I got on. And anybody I rock with had to get on, I let them get on too. So anyway. He took it upon himself. So this nigga Razor took it upon himself to try to get. Um, slot time and take this nigga Bishop slot time. So he presses Bishop. You know what I'm saying? 
when he presses Bishop, the other Jamaican nigga, there was a lion also. Now these niggas was rocking with each other. These lion niggas and, and the, the Jamaican niggas and the Bloods, they was rocking together. So, but Razor was an antagonist. He was a he was a he was an instigator. He was a grimy ass nigga. I know Razor. I was even with the nigga. Listen, I got history with this bitch ass nigga. So. I mean, like, and he was with me, like I said, and eventually me and him did bump heads. That'll be the next one, because we did bump heads, because he was just that type of dude. I mean, and he was feeling himself after this story that I'm about to tell y'all right now. So basically what happens is this. He calls the nigga um, Bishop out, and that y'all want your slot, your slate, you pressed him for the slot, you know what I mean? Straight like that. So... The nigga, like, yo, we gonna have to shoot the five for this shit, nigga. I ain't giving you none. The Jamaican niggas, like, yo, what? He thought the nigga was joking type shit. Like, nigga, what? <laughs> Facts. So I'm on the top tier with my co-defendant. We looking down and shit. We strapped up. It's been tension in that house always. Because it's always tension when you in a house where it's all the ops. Some of them niggas fuck with you, respect you, respect you and all that. They don't really want no problems and shit. Cause they know you're gonna probably go all out, but at the same time, they're the ops. These niggas is like, we, we, we like behind enemy lines type shit. Facts. So, um, they end up shooting the five. Razor end up knocking them out. In 2.5 seconds, Razor knocked this nigga out. Razor knocked this nigga out, now he's even more. Emboldened, he's like feeling himself like, yeah, motherfucker, ah, while the nigga snoring. Yo, me and the nigga, me and my Cody, Eddie. Salute to my Cody, Eddie. He took the stand for me and all that. This nigga, Eddie, and me, we up top, and I forget who else. Maybe one of the blood niggas, and we seen this nigga, um, and Barry. Barry was mad cool with us, too. We seen the nigga not, and Barry was even more cool with the Jamaican nigga. Those was his mans. So, cause Barry, I think was on um, Jamaican himself, and he was homie. So the nigga knocks him out. He starts feeling himself even more. He grabs a two liter off a table that had Kool Aid in it. As he was walking back and forth, talking shit like, "Yo, ah, ow, anybody with the phone?" He was feeling himself talking all that shit, but now he's talking about, I mean, that phone, that slot, not my shit, not where I'm at. He pours Kool-Aid on, on, on the nigga um, Bishop's face while he's knocked out on the floor, sleeping. He pours a whole bottle of Kool-Aid in his face. Wake the fuck up, nigga. Nigga woke up choking, bro. <laughs> woke up wild Kool-Aid on his face, shirt all wet. Dudes in the house was rocking with this nigga Bishop, bro. Bishop was a loud nigga. Nigga had shines on. Fronts in his mouth. That's something that I'm forgetting to get into that I'm about to get into right now. So he got yapped. You know what I'm saying? Razor could have did him super dirty if he wanted to while he was knocked out snoring. He literally was knocked out snoring, bro. So, Razor wakes the nigga up with the, with the Kool-Aid. Pours the shit on the nigga face. The nigga wakes up. What the fuck? Days. Nigga chain gone. He don't even realize that shit. He get up. He's starting to put two and two together like, yo. What the fuck? But he had the stinky legs still. That nigga had the noodles. We used to say the noodles. <laughs> That nigga had the noodle legs, you huh? So Razor peeped that. He couldn't even fucking stay on his on his two feet. I'm up top, I'm like, yo, this nigga about to get rocked again. What happens? The nigga Razor's like, what? And he rocked him again. Mom! Knocked him out again. <sighs> again. Yo, niggas is like, oh shit. Niggas felt even healed. <laughs> now it was a lot of dudes. And then they fuck with the homie, with the with the, with the Jamaican line nigga Bishop. Facts. I forgot his um. I forgot his bro's name. It's another line. I forgot his name. If, if I remember, I'll, I'll bring it up. But anyway, so now Razor knocks this nigga out two times. Like in a matter of a minute or two minutes, he knocked this dude out two times. Pour Kool-Aid on his face the first time while he was snoring on the floor. And everybody sees this, bro. Everybody sees this. He wakes the motherfucker up. Motherfucker wakes up. Juice dripping off his face and all that still. 
half dead, half not dead, stinky legs on deck, got rocked again. Me, snoring again. This time, the nigga on Razor goes and gets another jug. Facts. Niggas, yo, bro, niggas is just the type of time niggas is on. He goes and grabs another two liter, pours it on his face again. Wakes him up. He don't even realize he already didn't got yet. Before I'm lying. While he was waking the nigga up, he was in his mouth. In his mouth. Taking his fronts out his mouth, bro. He took his fronts out his mouth. Opened his mouth and took his fucking fronts out his mouth. Put them nasty shits in his pocket. Razor. For those of y'all that's wondering who... Well, he look, Yo, bro. He looks just like Exhibit. And he has a raspy voice. He looks like an old ass... Exhibit Facts From Harlem Grimy as fuck Anyway Him and Joker That's the blood nigga That was an ex-king I came to find out later I ain't know while I was dead Them niggas is like crimies now Like they was crimies I don't know if Joker maybe was the one that brought Razor home So now the nigga Joker it's like, yo, he's, they just, he, he's feeling it. He's mad amp now, too. Like, yo, let's get that nigga cell, boom, fuck that, yo, take that nigga. They take this nigga sneakers off while he's knocked out, take his clothes off, then they, they pour the water on the nigga, pour another jug of fucking juice or whatever in his face. Wake him up again. This is the third, the second time now they waking his ass up. So me and Eggy, I'm like, yo, I feel bad because we used to, I used to fuck with the, up the nigga Bishop. He's from the Bronx, bro, from 241st. Know what I mean? He see this video, he gonna be sick. But yo, it is what it is, twin. Like you know, I'm not lying. I'm not capping. So the nigga lying. Oh, I mean the nigga lying. He's a black lion. The nigga Bishop. He gets woke up. The nigga Joker and the nigga Razor. It's a mother homie. They end up like yo, come on, let's go to your cell. They rob him. In his cell, take all his commissary. They rob him of a fucking big ass knife, bro. The nigga had a baby machete in his cell, bro. The nigga on um, Bishop. I know he wish he would have had that shit on him when the nigga um. <laughs> I know he wish he would have had that shit on him when the nigga um. When the nigga Razor called him out, man, because he needed it. So. They take some big ass ratchet out his fucking cell. They rob him of all his clothes, all his garments, all his commissary. That's it. That's what happens when you get done like that. It's over. The wolves is on you. Now you got a bunch of little other homies, other, other little bloods running up in his cell too. Taking little bullshit soups and food and taking socks and t-shirts and whatever the fuck they could get. Dudes is taking. I mean, the vultures, the wolves, the lions, they all on this nigga now. Because they like, yo, this nigga just got knocked out two times. By a nigga that there was also somebody that they kind of respected and was also fucking rocking with the blood. It's kind of hard. But I don't even believe he was homie yet. He wasn't even blood. But he was rocking with them niggas' hard body. So he knocks the nigga out twice, wakes him up twice, robs the nigga, takes his gun. Takes his slot time, right? And after that, the nigga, um, what's his name? The nigga Bishop, he ended up pulling the stunt. Like, he ended up, like, going to the infirmary, going on a visit, going to the school floor, going wherever he went. Whether it was that day or the next day. And... He didn't come back. Now, his little man, the, not really his little man, the other Jamaican lion nigga, he finds out about this shit, right? A matter of fact, that happened the same day. The same day, he ends up making, pulling the stunt and got packed up. Like, he couldn't live with himself, Bishop. He was like, yo... He just couldn't, he couldn't live with the fact that he got knocked out twice. Everybody in the house saw that. He got robbed. And and, and this was a dude that was actually a nigga that was kind of lit. I ain't going to say his name is ringing bells all over the place, but nigga, 
had slot, nigga had jewelry, nigga was getting the bag. He was, you know, a loud, flamboyant New York Bronx Jamaican nigga. Got the brakes beat off him. I mean, got knocked out, stone cold twice. So now he ends up pulling the stunt. I, I forget exactly what how he pulled the stunt, but he got packed up. He ends up getting sent to intake. So while he's in intake, the other Jamaican nigga is coming from court. And he sees the Jamaican nigga. He tells the Jamaican nigga a whole nother, the other Jamaican nigga. He tells that nigga a whole nother like type of story, version of what happened. Basically, like he got jumped. That's the version that he told the other Jamaican nigga while he's in intake. He's like, yo, they jumped me. So the other Jamaican nigga took it upon himself to make it hot once he got back to the house. Respect that nigga. I, I got to remember his name. I'm going to remember it. Ghana, 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 some shit like that. Anyway, so <clears throat> the nigga comes to the house. Now, mind you, we don't know this shit, but kind of, it's kind of like common knowledge. Like when you in intake, you gonna see other niggas coming. So now this nigga, the Jamaican nigga, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call him G. The Jamaican nigga G come back. He already done heard some shit from from Ray, from not from Razor, from um from the nigga Bishop. Now, I mean, he fed him a little story. So. The nigga's on his way to the crib, and when he comes to the crib, he automatically pop off on, on, on the blood nigga, um, the nigga Ja. Because Ja was the first blood, I guess, that like he came across once he walked into the house. So when he he called my he called Ja lacking. <laughs> ja, he called Ja lacking. Salute to Ja. Ja was an official one too. He caught the blood nigga, the, the homie Ja from Queens lacking. And I believe the reason why he popped on Ja also was because Ja was Jamaican too. He was Jamaican blood. It's facts. He was from Queens. So he popped on he popped on Ja. I mean, Ja ain't no scrub. I mean, he get it popping with the nigga, but I mean, chairs is flying. This nigga's rushing to the phone. This nigga, the little Jamaican nigga G, he ended up breaking the blood phone. Now, him doing this is how it affected me. Now, bumping hands with Razor and some of these niggas because. The little nigga came through because he was a short. I say little nigga because he was a short nigga. He was. He was a short little nigga, stocky though. Yo, he made it hot. I respect that. You know what I mean? He came, his man got beat, tossed up. Even though his bro ain't keep it a buck with him and told him exactly what happened. He came back. He's like, what? Niggas moved on you? He, he kept it quiet, came to the house, act like he ain't know now, and made a movie. Right? So he pops, whatever. And 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 now he breaks the bluff phone. You know what I'm saying? And he trying to get to the other phones. The niggas is on that nigga now. Like, nah, 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 nah. You better, yo, bro, go that over there with that shit, my nigga. They ain't touching my phone. So, he pops off. He ends up, you know what I mean? Niggas move on the nigga. They don't really get to do the nigga dirty like that, though, because he, he made it hot, and he was able to get up out, you know what I'm saying, the block at the same time. He was able to get up out that A and B gate. And the police pulled the pin, you know what I mean? Because... They get nervous once niggas start standing up and it's a bunch of niggas trying to chase one nigga down. They start getting nervous. So they hit the pin. You know what I mean? Shit gets, shit gets shut down. We down one phone. We down two Jamaicans. All the bloods is there. It's still just me, the only king there. And shit, um, shit gets a little crazier after that. And we gonna get into that. Y'all already know what it is. Lines in, man. Nothing but real talk. Never cap or fact. Let's get it.